Hi folks, welcome back. In this video, we will take a look into another uh, Oracle database service, which is called ExaCS or ExaData Cloud Services, right? Now, if you are um, aware of ExaData on-prem or if you have been using ExaData, uh, say, in the uh, in the on-prem environment, you, you, would, you would be aware of it that an ExaData is basically an engineered system from Oracle. When we say engineered system, you will see that it will have some database servers. So it's basically a rack. So this is an Exadata, first of all, right? If you're new to Exadata, just to understand Exadata, an Exadata machine looks like this, right? So it, it is a rack. So inside that rack, you will see that there are certain database servers or the compute nodes, we call them, and you have that storage servers, right? Or cell servers, we are also called call them as cell servers. So these are our storage servers and cell servers. And between the database server and uh, these storage servers, there is a high speed connectivity. So this is our high speed, um, uh, say you can call it InfiniBand or IB, we call it InfiniBand, right? Uh, or, or these days they are, they are using the Rocky switches and also for the moment you can understand that between database server and storage server there's a high speed um, connectivity, right? On top of it, uh, you had uh, the hypervisor, uh, you could build your uh, say DOM use or uh, virtual machines or VM clusters and on top of it you could have your database and then DB schema. And when you used to talk about Exadata on-prem, the customer uh, used to manage the entire layer, the, even the infrastructure layer, the network layer, if you are going to patch, the customer was responsible for everything. If you see this whole green bit is customer. But when we talk about XSCS, you will see that suddenly there is a clear demarcation up to this level. So from up to this layer, which is the infra layer or infrastructure layer, <clears throat> Oracle is responsible for maintenance of this. So Oracle is responsible for the storage servers, Oracle is responsible for the database servers, the hypervisor, and then on top, only this bit is with the customer. This is called Exa CS, Exa Data Cloud Service, which is an Exa Data sitting inside an, you can say, OCI. So an Exa Data box sitting in Oracle Cloud is Exa CS, right? And so all the customer is doing is the customer can provision a DOM view or a virtual machine cluster. Once a cluster is there, you can have your database and database you can have then just in a normal way you can have a, a schema or data on that. So let's <clears throat> try and understand XSES. So XSES is nothing but combining the Exadata's powerful database capabilities within the with the flexibility and scalability of OCI. So as I said, it is an Exadata box sitting inside Oracle's data center. So uh, we all know about Exadata. So all the capabilities of high performance, OLTP analytics, uh, and all the um, Exadata features that uh, if you are aware of, like smart scan, storage indexes, they all are available in XSES. It is a fully managed service, or I would actually say it's a co-managed service. Why do we call it co-managed? Because the uh, Oracle is responsible uh, for this uh, layer or the infrastructure layer and the customer is responsible for the top layer, right? So Oracle manages the infrastructure, patching, backup, recovery, all the operations. And yes, uh, <clears throat> So just like Exadata, XSCS also comes in uh, various uh, varieties. You can say you have choice between quarter rack, full rack uh, uh, deployment. So it, just to understand like a full rack would have eight uh, database servers, DB servers, and 12 storage servers. And a half rack would have something like four DB servers and six storage servers. So it goes like that, right? So it's, it's just that you have various deployment options. You can go with a quarter rack. You can even start from the base service. Then you can go to quarter rack, half rack, full rack. And yes, it is integrated with uh, real application clusters. You can have uh, um, for high availability and disaster recovery. You can go with uh, real application clusters, rack. You can even have data guard for high availability and disaster recovery. And it does have automatic backups to OCI object storage, something like what we studied in the base database service. And as I told you in the beginning, 
any Oracle database that you run on OCI by default will have encryption enabled. So data encryption at rest and in transit is enabled by default. So TDE comes out of the box. You don't have to pay extra for TDE. The integration with Oracle Database Security Solutions like Transparent Data Encryption, Redaction, Database Vault is available. Right. Um, you have the on-demand scaling because with Exadata, you have loads of OCPUs that you have available. So you can just enable certain number of OCPUs when the demand increases. You can always up your uh, number of OCPUs and when the demand goes down, you can bring down the OCPUs. But always remember, the billing is directly related to the OCPUs that you uh, enable in the VM cluster. <clears throat> and there is a high speed, low latency InfiniBand network. So as I showed you, uh, between the database server and the storage server, because database server is requesting data from the storage server and storage server is sending the data back. So there is a very high speed, low latency network. We call it the InfiniBand. And um, in, in um, OCI, because uh, now Exadata is sitting inside OCI, you will have seamless connectivity with OCI's virtual cloud network, which is the VCN. Right. So um, that's pretty much um, what we I wanted to cover in XSES. So XSES is nothing but an Exadata box, which is sitting inside Oracle's data center. We call it Exadata Cloud Service or XACS. Thanks for watching.